I grew up in the country and I did a lot of mowing for uh, my grandparents out on the farm and I kind of fell in love with just riding machines as like a go-kart and you had endless opportunities of driving on grass of wherever you wanted and then it came in the fun part of okay let's start adding stripes into the aspect and let's make different patterns and see what we can create and it's grown into just a lot of fun. So the story starts off um, as my junior year of high school. Um, I went in for a sports physical. I was a big soccer player and uh, I went in and they were like, we don't quite think something's right with your heart. And so some later testing and stuff revealed that I was in heart failure. But the happy part of the story and where Walker comes in as kind of like the savior is the day that I bought my mower was the day I was diagnosed. So I was push mowing yards and obviously with a heart condition, you can't go out and push mow 20 yards a week. It just, it just can't happen like that. So I ended up working out a deal with my doctor. I was like, look, I, I really need to mow. I like mowing. It's a good relief of stress for me. It gets me out of the house. It gives me something to look forward to um, through these hard times and stuff like that. And so I uh, ended up able to mow from like eight o'clock in the morning till 10 and then from five o'clock till sunset. And the reason I had to do that was due to the medication I was on. I was really hypersensitive to sunlight, so the least amount of time I could be out during the heat of the day was the best, but the mower ended up saving me and I was able to keep all my clients happy and I got some really nice family and friends that helped me along the way. My uncle was a huge part in it and helped me keep it going and it slowly grew into what we have today. When I first started out, I kind of had to do it on a budget, so um, the first problem was is figuring out how to not bag grass, so we did several options. Um, my first one I ran the no catch deflector in the back and that worked for a while and then I started wanting to go after bigger clients and bigger yards and that required some better equipment so I ended up getting my first mulch deck which was a 42 inch mulch deck and it worked great um, it got us through for what we needed and then um, it came into um, opportunity of buying my first 48 mulch deck and that was probably one of the greatest buys I think that started it off to be able to go full scale with it was figuring out that issue and once we figured out we could cut good with those and get the stripes that we wanted like the bagging deck it turned into how could we get more and it ended up being we bought a MT over the winter I uh, rebuilt it in my garage um, and fixed it up it had 1300 hours on it and we ended up running a whole summer out of it and saved up enough and we went and got a brand new MT23 last summer. A lot of people that I approach that are like, well, can you bag my yard? Um, I normally approach them with, uh, let's talk about maybe some other options. Um, what are some of the reasons in the past? Um, past technology has proven that mulch leaves chunks of grass and clumps and dead spots. And over time, if it gets too long, it kills the yard. And I think Walker's done a great job on the engineering aspect of it, of getting us a mower deck that will be to cut through grass and not do those problems and I think it's becoming a more viable option compared to bagging and I have the clients that I've had switch over say so they really can't even tell. Jacob has been with me um, for a while now and he's been great help and he picked up mowing these machines faster than anybody I've ever seen so it's really cool to watch him grow. We're in college now so me and Jacob went to high school together and we met in classes um, and we just kind of grew a friendship and then I was like Alfred him one day I was like hey would you want to go mow with me and he's like that's a job I never thought I'd ever do in my life but he's ended up being really great at it and a huge help and help me be successful. Through the pandemic we're now in uh, college and I decided to stay home and do college remote this year and keep the business running and Jacob did end up going up to KU and stuff so I did have to find a little bit of part-time help in between there but other than that he's a great guy and I'd love to have him back. It's a busy time of year. Um, I was in 16 credit hours of college studying to be a chemical engineer and I gotta say the biggest thing is is you have to time manage and um, having reliable equipment that I know every day I go out to my trailer and I turn the key in them it's gonna start I mean that helps take a lot of stress out of it so um, and these things are really great and like I say if you take care of them they'll take care of you initially the doctors thought that I was gonna have to have a heart transplant but um, through some trial medication and stuff like that and good diet I was able to uh, make it out with the same heart and everything's good today and I can't thank an amazing team over at Walker for designing such a great piece of equipment.